Alrighty guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the stuff that I got in a haul video that I posted in February. So with this haul, I bought a few things and then I went to Las Vegas for a couple days and bought some stuff there. And um, so I'm going to show you what I thought of everything. I know a lot of people do haul videos and then they don't talk about the stuff again. So I'm going to be showing you what I thought about all that stuff. So if you saw the video, if you didn't see that video, hopefully this is helpful. The first package that I got was from e.l.f. I ordered a few things on their website and uh, the first thing was this shiny erasers. So I've not used these yet. I mainly use these in the summer because my skin gets really oily in the summer and it's not quite there yet outside. So um, with these I would definitely recommend these if you get oily throughout the day and um, kind of like wears off your makeup or even if you're not wearing makeup I feel like these are nice so you're not like so greasy. These are super cheap. Probably the cheapest ones that I've ever found. They're good. Just throw, I usually just throw in one or two every time I order something from e.l.f. Then I got this tapered blending brush, also from e.l.f. again. So I've used this one and I also got another one from NYX that I guess I'll mention later on, but they're pretty much like the same. Well, the, the NYX one is a little more pointy. And there, the next one was white when I got it, but I use it for um, orange eyeshadows. But I mean, I think they're, they both kind of serve the same purpose. I mean, if you need a tapered blending brush, like I have this one from e.l.f. too, it's the crease brush. It's not as tapered, I don't think, but I don't know. I mean, they kind of all serve the same purpose um, with eyeshadow. I don't do anything like super technical, so I think that is fine. Um, so I usually use that kind of brush when I, so I'll do like a crease color and then I'll put on like a shimmery shadow on the lid and then I will go in between those and kind of blend it and just to even, even out the, um, like the transition between the crease and the shimmery lid shade and that helps a lot with, um, you know, making it even. Either one of those is fine as the e.l.f. one is a little bit more inexpensive so I'll probably go for that one. And then this is why I purchased, or why I made that order from e.l.f. in the first place. This is the Hydrating Camo Concealer, and I'm in the shade Fair Beige. So I hadn't opened it in the video, or in the haul. But this has a really big doe foot applicator, which I think is nice. I just got that all over my hand. <laughs> for, um, it's nice for concealers. Sometimes I don't use foundation. I'll just take a concealer and kind of spread it out throughout where I have any spots or redness or anything and then put powder over top. So I feel like it's a little bit easier if the doe foot's bigger. I mean, not really, it's not that big of a deal, but it helps a little bit. But this is a really good concealer. It already has a cult following on YouTube and Instagram and stuff. It's amazing and it's really inexpensive. It comes in a lot of shades. I do want to try the regular camo concealer. It's not the hydrating kind. It kind of, it's a little more matte. But this one, I haven't had any problems with. It doesn't really crease on me, so. You know, I would probably continue to repurchase this concealer, to be honest, because it is pretty inexpensive. And I do like it better than the ColourPop ones, which was, up until now, my favorite low-cost concealer. But um, I believe this one, it might actually be this a similar price. I'm not 100% sure. I'm a big fan of the brow mascara type things, so I picked up this e.l.f. Uh, wow Brow in the shade Taupe. Pretty sure, yes. So this one... This one is a little bit, the bristles on this are a little bit longer and it's a little bit of a longer wand than the ColourPop one, which I've been using for a while. So like that one, it's really a lot shorter. But I think they're both, I mean, as terms of formula, they're pretty similar. I don't see one being um, better than another one. I am, I'll correct myself if I'm wrong, but I think the Wow Brow has fibers in it, which I'm kind of, yeah, it, yeah, it does have fibers in it, definitely, I can tell. And the first time I used a product with fibers in it, I was like, I thought that my, like, eyebrows were falling out <laughs> and getting in the product, but this actually does have, like, little hairs that are in it that kind of, you know, make your brows look fuller. So one of these is nice if you already have some brows there, like I do, but you just want to kind of darken them a little bit. And I think this also um, helps me use less brow pencil because I go through brow pencils like crazy. So I just put this on and then fill in any extra areas with a brow pencil and it works pretty well instead of just using brow pencil for the whole thing. And it's a lot faster. So honestly, I don't really prefer one of these over the other. I think that they kind of, they do the same thing. They just have a different, um, 
One thing is the Corpo one does not have the, the fibers though, but I don't really see that big of a difference with them. So, I mean, if I'm in the market for a new brow mascara type thing, brow gel, then I mean, either one will do. So also, uh, I talked about this in the video too. This piece of hair is like out there. <laughs> but I talked about this in the haul video too, that I got two matte setting sprays on accident. So um, this one is the e.l.f. Matte Magic Mist and Set. And then the other one that I got, I'll just go ahead and talk about it now, I guess, is the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. So, I mean, these both kind of do the same thing. I feel like the formula has improved, though, because I remember I used this back in the day when setting sprays, like, first kind of came out and were a thing. Um, but I remember it being really, like, when you sprayed it on, it left white dots of, like, the powder stuff that's in it. I think if you shake it up really well and kind of do it from far away, it doesn't, it's not that bad. But um, I feel like it's improved since then, though. I mean, it might just be me. But I feel like a lot of setting sprays do the same thing, but the difference comes down to the sprayer. And this next one definitely has the way better sprayer than the e.l.f. one. Um, this just has a really, like, fine mist, whereas the e.l.f. one kind of comes out and drops, which is not bad. It's not as bad as the... Milani Make It Dewy setting spray. This one is awful, but um, that's actually what I used today. I mean, the spray itself is good, but the sprayer is terrible. It comes out in just like one stream instead of like a mist. So this next one, definitely the best way to go. I would probably, honestly, if I use this one up, I'll refill this with this e.l.f. liquid because the sprayer is just that good on it. So, But I also do that trick where um, I will spray that on before primer or anything and it helps control oil some. Next thing from e.l.f. was this Sheer Tint Finishing Powder in the shade Fair Light. So I have this one that I bought in the haul and this one that I am still working on. But this is almost... I need to like crush this up and repress it. It's almost done. This is okay. It's, um, I mean, a lot of powders are kind of the same, like I said, with setting sprays. But this one is pretty good. It's pretty inexpensive. And it just doesn't come in a lot of shades, though. That's the thing. And it's not, this is definitely not translucent. It is very light. I would recommend this if the shade works for you. But, like, again, it's, there's only, like, maybe this one and a medium one. So, um, I'll probably find a translucent one from e.l.f. or something if you have a deeper or even like a medium skin tone. And the last thing was these freebies that I got with my order. These are the Beautifully Bare, so I don't, they don't say on here, but they're liquid eyeshadows. So this one is soft beige and this one is nude linen. And I, I don't think that you can even buy these anymore, so I, I just think that's why they were um, freebies. But these were like the liquid to matte formula. So I put it on and then I blend it with this, where'd it go? I blend those with this Real Techniques crease prep brush. So it's a, a pretty fat, round, angled, like simply kind of brush. And I just put those on where I wanted it, do one side at a time. That way it didn't dry too fast. And then I would just blend it out with this. Worked pretty well. I just, I, it's a little more fuss than I really care to do you know, with liquid eyeshadows, so I just, I just prefer powder eyeshadows. And speaking of powder eyeshadows, I got a few of the new Makeup Geek ones. So those are my Z-Pop. Those Makeup Geek ones are all the square ones, and the round ones are ColourPop. So I used, I've used all of them quite a few times, and I, I'm glad that I have tried to, like, transition into mainly buying single shadows because I can pick the ones that I'm going to use because I know a lot of pre-made palettes I'm not going to use maybe half of the shades. This one is, uh, I can't remember the names of them, this one is Honey Badger and I use that quite a bit for like a crease color and then this one is called So Pale and I will either set my eyeshadow primer with that or I'll put that under my brow bone. Um, their mattes are really really good formula and they blend out really easily and this is prim and proper. I really like this one just if I'm doing a really light look. I'm trying to, they're really tight in there, so I'm trying to not break them. And then this is called Illuminati. And I really like that one in conjunction with this one, which is called All of You. And then these two shades up here are really, really nice. These are cult favorites for sure from Makeup Geek. Um, I'm using both of them today, actually. This one is Flamethrower, and this one is In the Spotlight. 
and I can see myself hitting pan on probably all of the shades that I bought from Makeup Geek, so I'm pretty happy about that. The next thing was I placed a little order from Arctic Fox, and I the first thing that was the Bleach Please Lightning Kit. So I used that before I even filmed the haul, um, so I don't have the box or anything anymore. But it, I don't know, I'll have to have maybe try it again and see. I, there was definitely a lot of product in it, and I didn't. I just did my roots with it, so I didn't really need the whole box. And it was a little bit difficult to get half of the liquid because it's not a powder bleach like most kits come with. It's a liquid, like a cream bleach. So one thing I did like about theirs though was that it, ha it was tinted purple. So that way you didn't really have to tone as much afterwards like you would with the regular bleach. Um, and if you want to see a video on how I bleach my hair, how I get this light blonde, um, that I do have a video about that already posted, so I will link that below if I remember, or go check my channel for the, um, it's like how I dye, how I bleach my hair with uh, less damage. And I did not do my usual method with that bleach either. I usually mix it with a clarifying shampoo, so I didn't do that with that one because I wanted to try it on its own first. Probably should have done that because it worked really fast. It was really, really strong. So I'm not for sure if I recommend that one over the Manic Manic Panic one. I cannot talk today. I'm not sure if I can recommend that one over the Manic Panic one, but it's a good option if you're gonna be buying dye from Arctic Fox anyways. And then this product, this is the VK Volumizing Dry Shampoo. So I'm using it today. It d definitely does volumize. It's a little powdery. I mean, it's, Obviously it is powder, but it kind of, like I could feel it in my hair, you know what I mean? Some dry shampoos you can, some you can't. But this, I don't know what possessed me to even buy this in the first place because I absolutely hate this pump. I have another dry shampoo from another brand that's in pretty much the same, the same pump, just a different color. I don't know if I can show you without making an absolute mess, but this kind. So it's an airless pump, there's no aerosol or anything, so like make sure that it doesn't fly out. But this component takes up so much room in the tube that there is no product in there. The product is, I don't know if you can even, you're gonna be able to see down in there, but there is like nothing. It's probably like up to here. I'm getting it everywhere. And this, the package even says, it says on the back, has your hair flatlined? Pump some life into your hair with workable tousle texture. Good things come in small packages, 100-ish applications. There's no way there's 100 applications. Maybe 100 pumps in here, not 100 applications. There's no way. So um, I just, uh, the product inside is okay. And I feel like this packaging is really, really wasteful. Like there's a lot of plastic in this. Um, like this whole part is unnecessary. I prefer the Lush one, which is just in a bottle, like in kind of like a shampoo type bottle, and you just turn it upside down and shake it into your hair and it works fine. There's no need for this. There's like no product in this. Um, there's like maybe 20 times as much product in the Lush one as there is in this little tiny thing. And it, these want to work sometimes, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it won't even spray. I. It's, I had a hard time with the other one from the other brand that I have. It just doesn't want to come out. I don't want to do it here because it's going to get everywhere. But you you can't just like, you really have to like push it down really hard to get the product to come out. And it's just, I just, I, I wouldn't buy this again. From Tonic, or from, tar geez, Louise, from Target, I got the Pixie Glow Tonic. So this one is the one that I bought. I'm pretty, I've used up quite a bit of it. I go through this really fast, but I am, I mean, I like it, but I am going to probably try to find something different because this does have fragrance in it and I am trying to avoid fragrance in um, skincare because it's not good, it can, can be irritating. So I've seen like estheticians recommending to avoid this. So I'm gonna try something different. Um, just, I, I like using an AHA. I feel a difference when I don't use an AHA because my skin gets like a really rough texture and if I use it regularly, I don't have that, so just, I like this kind of product, but I probably am going to pick something else when I'm done with that one. And then I also got from Target this EO Everyone for Everybody soap. That's just unscented. You can use it as a shampoo, body wash, or bubble bath. I haven't used it for that yet, but I have, this one is full and opened. I have another one in my shower that's almost used up, so that's why I got another one. 
And I mainly use that when I either want to have a fresh tattoo, which I hopefully can get soon once the quarantine's over. Um, and then I also use it to either shave with because it's really inexpensive. I don't want to use my like fancy soap and stuff to shave with. And then I will um, use it to wash my ears because they are stretched and you need to wash them uh, pretty regularly or they will get a little funky. So um, I use unscented soap for that and I, I think it's fine. That is probably the cheapest um, like unscented liquid soap that you can get. I know that Dr. Bronner's makes one, but I feel like Dr. Bronner's is really drying. It's kind of harsh. I feel like that everyone soap is a little less harsh. I can also use that to refill my hand soap things. I know they do normally sell hand soap refills like in a gallon jug, but they're kind of hard to come by right now. Um, they also do have hand sanitizer if you are if you need a vegan cruelty-free hand sanitizer, but they're pretty much sold out. So, it, you know, I would sign up for the email updates on their website. And then I placed an order on Lush, so some things, I'll just talk about the Lush stuff all at once. I got some stuff in order before I went to Vegas, and then I also got some more at a store in Vegas, so, um, which I was, I was already in the mall anyways. There's a Lush store probably f 45 minutes-ish from here, so I don't go that often. Um, so I went ahead and stocked up on some stuff while I was there. So this is one that I've been using. This is not the exact one that I showed in the haul, but um, this is the Sugar Daddy-O Solid Conditioner. So I've used about, that's about half gone, I would say. Um, and I talked about this in that video where I showed you how I did my hair. And this is what I use every day, or not every time I wash my hair at least, for um, to tone it. Because this does really help to keep the brassiness away um, when you've, you know, bleached your hair. Or if you just have natural blonde hair that kind of gets brassy. And this is not like a really strong toner that you'd use like right after you first diet, but this does help like day-to-day -day maintenance. And it's a, uh, I do like to buy packaging free whenever possible. And Lush has a lot of packaging free or naked as they call them um, products. And then this is the shampoo bar in Jumping Juniper. So I have used this once, so I'm not 100% sure about it. I normally use their Silk and Float shampoo bar, but I want to try something different. I'm not sure if this one is supposed to be like color depositing or not. I'll have to look it up again online and see, but. Okay, so um, for this one it says, the purple shampoo bar sorts out oily hair problems by washing away grease and managing oil production. Fruity juniper berry oil clarifies oily congested scalps while lemon and lime make your hair clean and shiny and give it an extra fresh scent. The incredible herbal duo of soothing lavender and cleansing rosemary calm and stimulate the scalp because healthy hair comes from healthy scalp. So I guess this is more of like a clarifying cleansing kind of thing, which I do use on a regular basis in it. So I think I will like this long term. We'll see. Oh man, I forgot. There's one that I forgot. Um, but I got another one of the Each Peach Massage Bars. So I go through those like crazy. Um, I use them as body lotion. And I also got another one, another thing that I can use for that, but I just, they kind of melt into your skin. So it is a solid product and it kind of melts with your, like the temperature of your skin and it really, really helps like dry skin or I use them on my tattoos and like this one, it makes look super nice and fresh and it's awesome. I would definitely recommend it there. Massage bars or, or like lotion bars. And then this is the, I got a sample of this. So I have a bottle of the Toothy Tabs and I got a sample of this with that order, um, which I think is also because I use this little thing as a travel container for the Toothy Tabs. But this is in the flavor called Dirty, which I actually do prefer. Um, this is probably my favorite one out of the two that I have. I cannot remember the name of the other one that I have. It's some, some kind of mint, but um, I like this one a lot better. These are okay. They're, they're quite a bit different than your normal toothpaste experience. Um, so if you have not heard of a toothpaste tab, it's just a little tablet and it's got baking soda in it. So once you put in, you will like want to swish around a little bit of water first and then put this in your mouth, kind of chew it up a little bit. Don't swallow it, of course, but then, then you can brush your teeth with that and it gets really, really, really foamy. Um, so I was like not prepared for that. And you have to like, I have to stand over the sink while I'm brushing because it just comes out. But I mean, it works. It's a good toothpaste. It's just kind of a really different experience than like traditional toothpaste. And then why I placed that order in the first place was the Valentine's Day soaps. So I, last year they came out with uh, bath bombs and I don't, my bathtub doesn't, it's not 
good for for bass like the t the porcelain's kind of peeling so I don't take bass in there but I did find that they this year they had soaps and I got some and this so I got the peach one and the eggplant one this is all that's left of the peach one um, it's like almost done and I really liked the scent of this so I am not a fan of anything that has a really strong scent I do not wear perfume or use candles or anything like that and this one the scent on this was okay it was barely there just enough for me that I like that I can smell it a little bit but it goes away so um, I really like this one I would repurchase it if they come out with it again next year and this one I have not used yet I'm not sure what uh, there's a, quite a few soap kind of items I'm testing out but this is the eggplant one I haven't opened it yet because it is um, kind of leaked in there and I don't want to get it on like the purple color on anything so I'm just leaving it here for now but um, yeah I'll try that at some point eventually and then I at the Lush store I this is like melting in my hand but I got um, this what's it called banana skin moisturizer so this is the one that I've been using but I got a backup of it at the store so this is all that's left it's normally like a little oval shape but I really really like this one it's really good for dry skin I use it at night um, so what most of the time I'll use this um, so what I'll do is I'll wash my face put on my toner and then I will splash a little bit of water on and then apply my hyaluronic acid serum I use the one from the ordinary and then um, you want to just let that soak in a little bit and then apply something a little bit thicker to hold the moisture in and that's what I use this for and this melts really really easily on the skin and it's really nice and moisturizing you can use it on its own of course but I just like it for that and the next thing I was super excited to see this at the store because I have not seen it um, online anywhere and this is the it's called almond blossom solid shower gel so I just used this for the first time the other day this is a really different product this is not like soap it's weird so um, it's kind of like melting in my hands but it's I swear it's not like it's so weird it's a different product it's hard to explain it's kind of harder than a soap like once when I was using it it foamed it got like you know lathered up really well but you know soaps when they start lathering they get like slippery this one didn't so I don't know this is magic but it's really nice um, it is another one of those that has a really light scent that I can tolerate so um, definitely interested in that and a lot of people say that they cut these up in pieces so that way they don't waste the whole thing which I think I'll probably do because this was a bit cumbersome to use like this big big thing and then last thing I got from Lush was this hair on it um, this little pot of energy I'm pretty sure this is just a solid lotion but I wanted to use this instead of the, the each peach one just to try something different and this one does have the lighter scent like I like so um, it's kind of it's just like citrusy and I yeah I, don't, I feel like this um, I've tried one maybe two I can't remember of the potted lotions from Lush this is melting in my hand I'm gonna put it down but um, the potted lotions from Lush don't really like they kind of sink in really fast and they don't kind of sit on the skin like you want a moisturizer too especially if you have really really dry skin but I feel like the solid ones are a little more I don't say emollient is that the word where they kind of sit they like coat the skin and make it um, I don't know what I'm trying to say but they're basically they're better I think than the potted ones and then the last thing was I got some stuff from the NYX store in Vegas at the Miracle Mile Mall. So the first thing was this brush. This is the number 44. I don't know what it's called, but it's that brush that I was talking about earlier. It's all right. Um, you know, it's a blending brush. Of course, the matte spray, which I already talked about. And then this foundation, you guys. <laughs> this is the Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation. And I am in the shade 03 Porcelain. This is the first, well, first of all, this is the first foundation that I've ever been, like, matched for at a store, and it actually was right, so shout out to uh, the girls at the next store. Um, they did a really good job. It is probably my favorite foundation that I've ever used, at least recently. Uh, yeah, um, I mean, it's a pretty close match between this and the Cover FX Powerplay foundation. This is full coverage, but I feel like you can kind of share it out a little bit if you wanted to. But I... So I'm not going anywhere right now except to the post office to drop off my order for my business and I will like when I go in I will wear a mask like you're supposed to and um, it does not like the mask doesn't rub this off like it stays fine. I'm like what what is this? This is magic. Um, so this is amazing. I would definitely recommend this this foundation if you're looking for like a full coverage. It's not super drying either so I just yeah this is my favorite 
new favorite one. The only problem with it is the pump is kind of iffy. Like somebody commented on my Instagram post that, that their pump wasn't working. And I've seen like other from pe other people that theirs doesn't work either. It's kind of like flimsy to me. Like I feel like the pump can be a little bit better, but yeah, it, it's a really great product. Like if I had to just dump it out, I would probably still use it. Does this pump even come off of here though? No, the pump doesn't, you have to like, the pump, usually like foundation pumps kind of unscrew right there, but this one does not, so I don't know. But I would definitely recommend this foundation for sure. They do have a ton of shades of this, so that's awesome. And the last things from NYX were um, these lipsticks that I was surprised by. So I basically bought two of the same color of lipstick. So this one was the NYX Lingerie Push-Up Long Lasting Lipstick in the shade Embellishment. So it's in like this pencil kind of format. it's kind of showing up more reddish on camera but it definitely has like a little bit of a purple undertone this one is the nyx suede matte lipstick in the shade lavender and lace so that one is a little bit lighter it's not exactly the same color but i mean for all intents and purposes they're the same color <laughs> but i do really like both of these i feel like the formula is pretty similar the only thing with this push-up is I guess that's why they call it push-up because it's like plumping kind of effect which and then you can also it's a little bit easier to apply because it's got the slimmer pencil and then it has the sharpener on the end so you can get a really clean line with it that's not what I'm wearing today actually this is the I think I'm wearing the ColourPop Ultra Matte and WYD so this is a pretty similar color also <laughs> let me swatch this I'm just this video is already really long anyways Okay, so this is, <laughs> I have a problem. This is WYD from ColourPop. It's a little bit reddish compared to the other ones. Um, I have a thing for this color lipstick, I guess, because I just I just need to stop, <laughs> stop buying lipstick. But yeah, overall, these are really, really nice. Um, the formula of them lasts for quite a while. Um, the only thing is like with a lot of lipsticks, it'll last forever like in the middle, but then on the edges, it kind of wears off from talking and eating and stuff. But uh, overall, I think it's fine and I would probably purchase more colors of one of these if I ever branch out and don't buy the same color or whatever again. But I believe that was it for this video. Let me know what you think if you like this kind of haul or review, if this was helpful at all, or if you're going to pick up any of these things. And give this video a thumbs up if that was interesting and subscribe to some of the other videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.